Hello and welcome to One Day Contract, the Panthers talk show where we're joined each week by a new personality who we've signed to a one day contract to join the show. One Day Contract is a proud part of the Riot Network powered by Ortho Carolina. I am Nikki Wolf. Alongside of me, as always, we've got Mr. Colin Hoggart, columnist and contributor for the Riot Report, and Josh Klein, managing editor for the Riot Report. And the SG, our one day contract today, is Mr. Max Henson, staff writer and content editor for Panthers.com. Do you feel like they look at a certain level of handsomeness for tight ends in the Carolina Panthers organization? When you look at Greg Olson, Chris Manhurts, very handsome as well. Like, uh, who's the next Brandon guy? Brandon Williams. Win? Yeah, absolutely. Slow bones. Slow bones. Yeah. yeah. Sexy. <laughs> that's probably definitely going to make that, like, the, the highlight reel. I'm yeah, sure. T- I'm a married man. Thanks. The tight end position <laughs> with that, too. All yeah, say exactly. Happily, so. It's going to have to be in there. Sorry, Evan Bayless. And the first time we used the word sexy yeah. on the podcast, I oh. think, right? I think so. I, I use it off mic all the time, but mostly just to describe uh, my hamburgers that I eat. <laughs> yeah, I think it's interesting. This team's captains have been the same for a while now. It's been like this leadership group. It's rare in the NFL to have that kind of, I don't know, stability amongst even your best players. I mean, there's just so much roster movement. But Khalil, Olsen, TD, Luke Cam, I mean, those guys have been captains for like several years now. So who are the guys behind them that you could see wearing the C? I mean, I immediately look like, I think I think Kwan Short is yep. next up. I think is the guy who is a leader in a quiet way, but still a phenomenal leader. Represents a lot of what Rivera and this organization want to see in their better players. There's some really young guys. I mean, is, does Christian grow into that? You know, on the offensive line, once Khalil decides he's done, usually you have a captain from that group. I don't know if Trey Turner Trey, right? I is kind of maybe where you would think initially, but KK for sure. All you gotta do is ask Brett Golson how hard it is to play tight end. And yeah. he'll, he'll be the first to tell you, my guy, Vanderlaan, yep. the tight end. I, at one point, I even just said something to, to Olsen. I was just like, what do you, what do you think of this 84 guy? He's getting open a lot. And Greg was like, yeah, he, he's doing pretty well in shorts and a t-shirt. I would say Kyle Bosch. He also, as he was walking into spring workouts, under his breath, to literally he was walking by himself to nobody. He goes, a little hot out here for a penguin just to be walking around, don't you think? <laughs> Which is a real, real deep cut of Billy Madison. Yeah, Norwell is one of those guys too. I was walking through the locker yeah. room last year and I was like t- tweeting something dumb, I'm sure. And yep. as I was like walking and tweeting at the same time, I almost ran into him and he goes, you got to keep your head up, man. And I was like, oh my God, I may just, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so <laughs> sorry. I may just faint. Like he was always wearing this scowl. Like he loved being... Like, he knew he was so huge. I'm sure after that interaction with you, he probably turned the corner and, like, let out a little smile. It's bow time. Colin, go. Uh, or, or, what time? Okay, it's bow time, but is it breakfast time or is it lunch time? Breakfast is probably, like, a good Ricky Prohl for me. It, I feel like lunch time has really become an abusive relationship at this point. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm still wow. going because we used to be something. I actually want to turn the tables, and I want to get Nikki's opinion on Bojangles. Yeah, Bojangles. My opinion on Bojangles? When was the last time you were at Bojangles? I probably haven't been to Bojangles in like two years. Well, that doesn't mean that you can't go next week. That's true. Or next week. in two weeks when we're live from Spartanburg <laughs> on August 1st. <laughs> That's what the kids call a plug.